All right, y'all, so we have a new update from Canva. If you remember this video that I did when I created a coloring book using Canva AI, that was done using Magic Media. But the newest update with Canva AI is called Dream Lab. So if you don't have Canva yet, then you could click on my link in the description and you can sign up with Canva for absolutely free. I currently use the Canva Pro version. It has unlimited everything. And with Canva's new AI update, you get to create more images. So if you're trying to create a full coloring book, then the Canva Pro plan may work better for you than the free plan, but it's up to you to decide. But like I said, go ahead and click on the link in my description description to get started with Canva if you've never signed up for Canva. So once you're in your Canva account, you'll see two places that you can actually try um, Canva's new AI program, which is called Dream Lab. So one is going to be on the left side. You'll see the tab that says Dream Lab and you can click there. Or you can also go to um, where it says make me an image like in the middle of the page and it'll take you directly to Dream Lab there as well. I've been experimenting with a couple of different prompts but I just wanna show you how simple this is to create images in like less than a minute. And I haven't really tried coloring book pages in detail, but we'll go ahead and try that as well. But this is a great tool to use if you wanna create AI images for book publishing on Amazon KDP. And before we even get started, let's look at the terms and conditions for using the AI products. Now this is the same terms and conditions that I went through when I was talking about the AI generator for Magic Media. This is just an updated version of Magic Media because Canva merged with, um, I believe, Leonardo. So the images for Leonardo are more clear, more crisp, more up to date, I would say. But as far as the um, terms and conditions go, you are responsible for any text you type in or images or other content that you upload to AI products, as well as the resulting material you generate, such as the images and or the text. So make sure that when you're using the AI generator, you're not putting in any images that have trademark like Disney and things like that, right? So you're responsible for the prompts that you're using to make sure you're not infringing on any other creator's rights. So between you and Canva, you own your input and output and you instruct and give Canva the rights to host your input and output on their platform. Canva will not make any copyright ownership claim over your input or output. When using AI, Canva asks that you let your viewers know that your design is um, AI generated. So when you get ready to upload on Amazon KDP, there is a disclosure button that you would just check when you're uploading your book to KDP. I'll leave the link to the terms and conditions, but I just wanted to read over it for you so that you would know some of the things you can and cannot do when generating your AI images. All right, so let's go back to Dream Lab. We're gonna describe the type of image that we want in a few words. So I like to start off simple with things like this. So let's say, for example, I wanted to design a, a black girl astronaut. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on create here. For each prompt, it'll give four images. And this is cute and everything, but this is not really the look I'm going for. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and start over right quick. So I'm gonna say a cartoon mixed with vector African-American five-year-old girl astronaut. And I'm gonna click on create to see what it gives me from that. All right, so yes, that's more of the look that I'm going for. It's so cute and bright and colorful. So it's gonna give you four images with each prompt that you put in, and then you could just click on each image to see them. That is so cute. So that's the first one. This is the next one, super adorable. This is the next one, and then we have this one. So once you click on the image, you'll notice that, that you can either use this image in a design, or you can click on these three dots, and you can um, edit the image. You can go ahead and download the image if you like the way it looks already. Um, and you can delete the image if you don't want this image at all. So let's say I wanted to edit this image. So I click edit. It's gonna open up a um, document size for me. And a few of the things that you can do when you're editing an image, you can go to edit and you can go to adjust and you can adjust the um, temperature on the image so that you're changing the colors of it. You can adjust the tint, that also will change the colors. 
And you can also adjust the brightness, contrast. And then if you keep going down to the bottom, you'll see where it says color edit. So let me just click on the blue and see what it does. It'll give you the hue. So it'll be like blue hues. You can see that it's changing though. Ooh, it's made it brighter. That's really neat. So yeah, you could just play around with it and see what you want to do. That's one way that you can edit the photo. You can also edit the photo by going to background remover. So with the pro plan, you have the option to remove the background. When you see this little crown here, that's what tells you that it's pro. You have to have the pay plan in order to do that. But I love the background remover because once you remove the background, you can then move her over and click on the background and you can change the background color to whatever you want it to be. And that also includes um, if you wanted to add a new color, you would just click here and you can even do a gradient. So you see how you have those two colors. Maybe we want to try to also put um, a yellow color back there for the gradient. And you see how you just changed it from the original image, which was this to this. So you have so many options that you can specifically use for your book cover designs for Amazon KDP. You also have what's called the smart option. And then you also have the aspect ratio where you can play around with the different sizes. So for the smart option, let's say I wanted to use the same prompt. So I'll go here to reuse prompt, which was a cartoon mixed with a vector African-American five-year-old astronaut. And let me uh, click reuse prompt. So it automatically um, inserts it now, SMART was what we used to get the original images. Now let's try and see if we can use, um, let's try and play around with illustration and see what we get when we create, all right? And then we're gonna also play around with creative and see what we get when we create. So we can tell the difference between um, the three examples. If y'all are hearing snoring in the background, please excuse me, um, it's not me. <laughs> All right, so so with the creative, it gave us more of like inside of a TV character slash game astronaut girl like. And then um, for the illustration version, it gave us this and I really like this version as well. This is the second one. This is the third one. And you know what? In addition to Amazon KDP, if you sell on Etsy or anything like that, you can also use this as stickers. Like that is so cool. You can just remove the background and use this whole thing as like a sticker image. And then um, even if you didn't want to use it for a sticker image, let me show you something else you could do if you wanted to use it for your book cover. So let's click on it and then remove the background and I'll just show you how you can duplicate this. So let's just say we wanted to use this as like a cover image. So we could just make her smaller after we remove the background and then we could actually duplicate the images. So let's say you were gonna do this as a notebook cover. Then you could just duplicate the images, have those images all over, click on background color you can come here where it says photo colors and it actually gives you the colors that are in the photo you can use any of those colors you can also resize it so let's say you thought your book cover was going to be one size but now you decided you want to use this notebook cover as an eight and a half by five inch so you can go to custom size and then you can change this to inches and then you can go ahead and type in eight and a half what did I say, eight and a half by 11? Well, that's what I meant if I didn't say it. So let's say eight and a half by 11, and then we can go to um, resize this design. Now, to resize your image, just keep in mind, you also have to have the Canva Pro plan, but I'll show you something that you can do to get around this in the meantime, if you do have the free version. So let's go ahead and resize this design, and then it is going to um, go ahead and make it into the eight and a half by 11 inch so that I could use it for a notebook. So now let me show you what you could do if you did not have the Canva Pro plan to resize the document. What you would be able to do is go to share and then you go to download and then you would save it as a PNG file and then you would just download this file. And then once you come to Canva, you would go ahead and click on create a design. And then this is where you would go to custom size, change this to inches and you would go ahead and put in the size that you want, eight and a half by 11 inches, create new design. And then all you would do is take that design that you saved. Once you have that design uploaded, you can then just go ahead and reposition it inside of the document. So voila. So now let's see if Dream Lab can create a coloring page to go inside of a coloring book for us. So I'm gonna use the same prompt that we used here. But I'm just gonna edit it. I'm gonna say a coloring page, cartoon mixed with vector African-American five-year-old girl astronaut. 
And let's see what we get. Let's see if we can make coloring pages that look good too. All right, so two of them came as like a coloring sheet in a book already, so we wouldn't be able to use those. But we did get two other images, so let's take a look. All right, that's cute actually. And then we have this one as well. So let me, um, I'm just going to create the prompt again just to see what it gives us this time. And I'm going to do it as illustration and see what it gives me for that one as well. Now, this is another one that we would be able to um, possibly use. But as you can see, all four of them are not coming out as illustrations that we can actually use. Still cute, but we can't use them in the book. But some of these images are actually coming out good for the cover though. Like this one is cute too. This one is cute for the cover. I don't know what those words are at the bottom, but of course we could probably just crop those out or use a tool to remove that. But that's cute. And then um, this one is cute too. And this is actually really cute for a cover. I'm gonna um, actually see if ChatGPT can help me. So I'm gonna come to ChatGPT and I'm going to actually just put in a prompt that says, I want to create an illustration of a coloring page cartoon mixed with vector african-american five-year-old girl astronaut can you give me five different prompt styles for this coloring page illustration let's see if you can help us out and give us a few prompts that we can use all right, so this first one, we're just gonna copy and paste it. I'm gonna enter it in and see what we get. All right, so it says, create a coloring page featuring a cheerful African-American five-year-old girl astronaut in a classic cartoon style. She wears a round helmet and a space suit for her, with star patches standing on the surface of the moon. Include planets and shooting stars in the background. The, de the design should be simple with bold outlines suitable for young children to color, voila it gives us something else that we can work with. That is perfect. So it can indeed also create coloring pages. So I hope this video was helpful. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe so that I know to keep putting out more content like this. And leave me a comment below letting me know what you think and if you'll be able to use these designs when you're publishing your books on Amazon KDP. Until next time, bye-bye.